Next, we'll talk about vectors. The term vector is a mathematical term. A vector is something that has direction. And that's the key aspect of a vector. When you think vector, think direction. That's the essential element of what a vector is. A vector is similar to a number, except it also has direction. You know what numbers are. Numbers are things that tell us how much or how many of something. So for example, if you have eight apples, you know that means eight of these things. Okay, and the number eight tells us how many. Well, vectors also tell us that. They tell us how much or how many, but they also tell us in what direction. Some things in this world have direction, just naturally. For example, a force has direction. If you have uh, a rock here, say, and, um, and you wrap a chain around the rock and you pull, you have to be pulling it in some direction. Nobody ever exerted a force on anything without exerting a force in some particular direction. So some things just inherently have a direction. Force is an example of that. It is naturally a directional quantity. So, that we, so we say that force is a vector. Another example, if you have a board and you're hammering a nail into the board, well, when the head of the hammer comes down on the nail, so there's your hammer, and it comes slamming down on the nail, it exerts a force on the nail, it exerts a force downward. So there's a downward force on the nail. And that makes complete sense to talk about the direction of the force. Some things don't have a direction, and it makes no sense to talk about the direction in some cases. Like if you talk about the temperature outside today, and you say it's uh, 83 degrees outside, it doesn't make any sense to say that it's 83 degrees up. That doesn't, even, that doesn't mean anything. Nobody ever says that. Attaching a direction to the temperature is pointless, and it would, in fact, be considered an error. Temperature doesn't have direction. It's what we call a scalar quantity. Something that doesn't have direction is scalar, and that's another mathematical term, S-C-A-L-A-R. So in general, things are either vectors or scalars, and vectors have direction. And my point here is that some things just do. Some things have direction. Force is a great example. Force is something that we're all familiar with, even if we haven't studied it formally in this class yet. We all know what a force is. It's just a push or a pull. And every time you exert a push or a pull, you exert a push or a pull in a particular direction. So force is a vector. And some things aren't. And temperature is a great example of that. We're all familiar with temperature, but there's no direction associated with it at all.